What's up, everybody? Thank you for joining me here on Revisiting Fight Night Champion, My Legacy. Um, yeah, man. Haven't uh, played Fight Night for um, a while, but yeah, I'm. Um, it's probably been a week or two, and so I'm feeling like I'm a little rusty. But oh shit, I'm a champion. I didn't even remember. I don't remember winning the belt. All right. Um, check my messages really quick. No messages. Usually after a fight, I've been getting a. Uh, I've been getting like a warning that's like your stomach's ruptured, your spleen is ruptured. If you keep doing that or getting beat up like that, uh, you're gonna have to retire. So um, we'll see where my health is at, and uh, you know, get some fights going. I'm gonna look at. Um, I'm gonna look at um, my fight history really quick to see um, like who I fought, so I make sure that I'm not like fighting the same guy over and over. So I, Ivan Camacho only fought him once. My first title defense, Todd Castro. I feel like I got history with Todd Castro. I know I had a uh, history with Antillian, Moreno, um, maybe Will It Tell, no. So, fought Todd Castro once, ninth round knockout. I wonder if they'll show like the punch that, yeah, damn. Holy shit. I never knew that you could go back and check that out. Uh, so, Camacho beat this dude twice. So I, I won a belt way back there. And I've defended it five times. I gotta look up my uh, stats really quick too. So I've the, won the belt two times, two time world champion. I'm so confused and I should go back and watch like an episode. Um, I should go back and watch an episode so that I can like see. Catch myself up with um, what's going on in my career because like I've got the stats. If you look down, uh, I've got my career resume down at the bottom in the de or on the I don't know what you would call that the video description box or whatever and um yeah to go over my resume really quick while I'm doing this uh two time EABC lightweight world champion so um two time world champion So I must have won the belt and lost the belt. And then there it is. So I lost it and then I won it. But I don't know why this um the belt's there. Unless I don't have the belt now. That's weird. Maybe I'm not a champion right now. Well, let's go, man. Yeah, I am a champion. So let's go. We're going to uh, fight one of these dudes for another belt. He's going to be Blake Young. I already beat Blake Young. He got another belt. Big Bear, I don't know what I was doing story-wise, like what, um, if I was training in Big Bear, if I was training in Mexico or whatever, so, um, that'll be what we got going on for this camp, 
trying to find the reefer pin. All right, so training. Got some messages. Promo event. I don't know who I'm also uh, under contract with. But maybe I should keep my uh, emails for that reason. Open sparring will give me a good time, give me a good opportunity to get my feet wet and warm back up. Before I get in and fight for a belt. It's nerve wracking playing this in um, your Caribbean on the line. Oh, also, I don't know if you've noticed, which is probably a big improvement, but um, I have some audio issues for almost all of my videos, and I feel like those are better. And then I also um, figured out how to get HD video, so that's um. So. Hi, right, kid. Let's see you one on one. <laughs> Like, if you were to put in, if you look in the description, skills training. <coughs> yeah, do another two minutes of uh, sparring or defensive specialist. Let's try defensive specialist. I don't even think I like the defensive specialist, but. If you were to uh, organize this list at the bottom, I don't know how to do it. Like world champions at the top. Or would it be like chronological? Light 
on your feet, kid, all right? Come on now, let's go! Who's defense, kid? Oh, where's your defense at? Nice, you timed that block perfectly. <laughs> I want to see you punch harder. Fast. See you with when I was supposed to. Keep pushing! How the fuck are you supposed to get more than fucking 20,000 points? Like, that, uh, opponent or training partner, like, you gotta put some pressure on me, make me work. My boxer. So we're gonna change the gear. I don't know what I'm feeling today. I don't know what I'm feeling today. A little black and red, maybe. I don't even know where the fight is. Holy moly. Maybe I can go back and look real quick. Hold up. MGM Grand, so we're in Vegas. And it's when? date on that fight. June 13th. So nothing spectacular. I'm going to just come out in black and red. I don't really wear black and red. I had the, the gold joints last fight. I think I got to deal with grand gloves. So I'm going to leave those. Feeling blue and gold.
let's see what this looks like. It's a, a black line. Nah. And then a white line. I think I like the yellow on the inside. White on the, white on the inside, yellow on the other side. File protector will be black. Damn, this HD, right? I've been playing it on this little small for a long time. I've been playing on this little smaller. Um, 4x3. Like, um, smaller square television. Like, and it's like standard definition is the term I'm trying to think of. Um, So my trunks are done. Let's change the color. gloves, black mask, black shoot, black, blue steel, blue vest, he there, you next. As a matter of fact though, like, they might need to be red gloves. But, I mean like, a darker red. Nah, that's too dark. It's really not that much difference, but whatever. I like uh, I liked the red, except there's like that line of black in the back. Really colors? Yeah, that's on the uh, logo. Stay with the Nikes Air Force One. 
funny that like they picked Air Force Ones to be the, the Nike shoe that they got. Black belt. I mean, we're fighting in Vegas, you know what I mean? Like, shoes are good. I'm gonna switch out the, the, the first one to into some different Nike. Nike Low Pro. Like, those a lot. all joints they won't let me change the color oh shit but I can wear the reds Alright, that was an accident. I really don't like to use the Pacquiao or like the other fighters custom gear, but it goes with the outfit so well. Got a phone call. This is Walter. Yeah.
check, check. All right, sorry about that. I'm going to have to cut. Um... All right, so oh, sorry about that. I was had to take a phone call. Um, all right, so let's get it. It's fight time. The gear is right. Everything is good. Let's jump right into it. Title on the uh, title on the line. So there's the EABC. The other belt will be like a different acronym or abbreviation or whatever. Um, and there's the three, like the WBC, WBA, IBF. And, um... Good evening and welcome to this pay-per-view extravaganza alongside Teddy Atlas. I'm Joe Tessitore. And we welcome you to the MGM Grand here on the Vegas Strip in beautiful Las Vegas, Nevada. This the site of a much anticipated rematch. 12 rounds of lightweight action. And now the time has come. All the talk, now comes the walk. Allen's got a target on his opponent from the moment he steps out of that locker room to every step he takes during this ring walk you can see exactly what's in his scope. Young's not throwing any fuel onto the fire for his opponent. He's just making his way down to the ring in a way in which he's checking that time card, ready to punch in and get to work. We went over the rules in the dressing room. Let's have a good, clean fight. Touch them up. Round one of this championship fight is underway. Teddy, we have sat through thousands of fight broadcasts ringside, but this one, above any superb right hand lands home by Viking Warrior. Teddy, what advice would you give to a power puncher like we have here going up against a fighter who may not be as conditioned and as ready to go the full distance? Well, of course, the temptation is you're a power puncher. You're going to get right to him, and he's a guy that's not going to be around later on. But don't get over anxious. Set up your power shots. Allen's making for a tough target there. He gets away from that punch. Allen's work in training camp is now paying off. Do you see the accuracy and the effectiveness with that combination? Young's hurt by a big shot. That's great stuff. He fires one right back after taking one. Gotta love the work by Viking Warrior. A solid one-two combo left right by Allen. Tried to land that upstairs. Young's in a bad place right now. He was tagged. Teddy, he's stunned right there. Now he's clinching right here. And that's the only way he's getting through this round. He needs to stay there and hold on for dear life. Good block by Young. Stay away from those. Come on. Ten seconds remaining in this round. 
He returns the favor with a right hand of his own. Viking Warriors got to come up with something different. Now, that last round, he didn't do what he needed to do, and it cost him defensively when he was stunned. His corner has to give some sound advice. Relax. Relax. You're okay. You are okay. Now keep your hands up. Keep them up. He caught you with your hands down, so let's keep them up, all right? I've been doing the right hooks. I've been working on the right hooks. I've been playing the older fight Young's night. Young's bounces back in his steps. Start of a new round coming so off of a round crank. in which he really yeah, took some punches. Good, good work. That straight right unable to connect. Putting his punches together now. That's a nice combination. Come on, stay away from those. Come on, man. Viking Warriors rocked by that punch. You're okay. Stay with me. He's punching away, even though he's been stunned. Comes right back with some offense. Right on the wood. Look at that. Allen's got to beat the shot now. He was demolished by an uppercut. action as he just ties up. Nice work with the overhand right. Sound defense. Good block that time by Young. Clinching his opponent. Nobody likes to see that. Targeting that belt line with the double jab. Good job. Good job, team. Sometimes because now you think you're just gonna walk in and get it again. Well, he walked in, he did get it. He got it. What a revealing round we just saw. Each man was able to hurt the other. You really can tell how much is on the line here between these two. Yeah, they both came here. I mean, they're in the best shapes of their career. They came here understanding what this fight means. Takes one, but gives one. Good work by Allen. Took a shot, now he gives a left. Young's recuperative abilities being tested to the limit here. Just 60. Oh, and there he lands the right hand well. Wow! Oh, and now the real test. Can he get up after going down a second time? the will of the wish, the old great Willie Peck. Made him miss, made him pay. He took a shot, but he gives one of his own. A left hand scores. He needs to improve the accuracy a little bit. That was comical by Young. 
Good return fire that time. Oh, very nice. Smart counterpunch there. Yeah, that's beautiful. You make the guy miss, you make him pay. You got this one. He gets hit, but he gives it right back. Viking Warrior's going to think about the next time he throws a punch because he just... And bang, and away he goes. How is this going to go on once again he hits the deck? Well, he's getting practice at it, so he might figure it out. Holy oh, shit. I don't know fucking that. She would have got caught with that last right. That might be it. Still in a tough spot here. Oh, Don't shit. get fooled just thinking he beat the count and everything's fine. And I'm not so sure that he can grab. So what you got to do now, if you're a trainer, the way you taught him in the gym is you don't want to go grab because you might leave yourself yeah, open. Shit. Move your head when he comes to you, then you grab him. You can see him timing that double jab to the head. And the round comes to an end. I don't know what to say. Just, 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 just keep it up. Just keep it up. That's it now, all right? It's a nice one. Teddy's got this fight three to zip. That's easy to see. Viking Warrior's been the more active guy. If you throw more punches, you're going to earn the judges' respect. As long as the other guy's not landing the cleanest shots, even though he's not as active. But... Young, stunned and staggered. Solid. Knocked down. Now you gotta wonder what the corner's thinking. Are they gonna stop this? That's exciting. It's been a minute since I've uh, gotten this far playing fight night. Allen's your winner well, here tonight and still the belt holder. Did everything that you would I'm ask for a fighter to do. New belt, new belt. Probably threw way too many punches per round. Well, 86. Probably be around 75 or 80, so that's not bad. EABF Championship Belt. All the blood, sweat, and hard work paid off. You are Electronic Arts Boxing Federation Champion of the world. Sorry. <laughs> you keep fighting like this and you can be remembered by the fans and media as the greatest of all time. I'm having hella injuries. Hella injuries. Um, hampering my career. And, um, Todd Castro. Vacate my title. You don't tell me who I'm supposed to fight. That's crazy. <laughs> I wish they would let you retire and unretire, and then um, that'd be crazy. I don't remember having too much um, problems, too much uh, trouble. 
excuse me, with uh, Todd Castro. But Madison Square Garden, Todd Castro. That's next up. All right, everybody. Thank you for joining me for this episode of Fight Night Champion. Or revisiting Fight Night Champion, my legacy. Uh, Allen versus Young 2. Von Allen is now currently two-time, three-time world champion. Um, on his way to unifying the titles in the lightweight division. Um, maybe step up and uh, win some titles at welterweight. Who knows? But thank you for joining me. Um, If you like the video, give me a thumbs up. I'd appreciate it. Hit the subscribe button. If you subscribe, make sure you hit the bell uh, icon to get your notifications. And, uh, yeah. Till next time, be safe out there. And, um, yeah, I'm out. Peace.